This is the Miss of Ophie from our Half Acre Homestead. Well, today I'm canning again, so it's going to be another crock pot meal. But crock pot meals don't necessarily have to come out of cans or jars. Today, we're going to make a succulent crock pot roast beef dinner. All right, let's get started. Now, here I have a roast beef. And what I did was, uh, when we went to Costco last, they had some beautiful Canada grade A, triple A. The beef was all from one animal. It wasn't glued together or anything like that. So we bought one and I actually cut it in two. Then what I did, I put some olive oil and seasonings in a vacuum seal bag and I vacuum sealed it, pulling a lot of the oil and the seasonings right into the meat, tenderizing it. Then I put it in the freezer. And now it's been thawing in the fridge since yesterday and we're going to cook it. You're also going to need, now it's just Papa and I, so, you know, gauge by how many people you have for dinner. Here I have two russet potatoes, four carrots, and one stalk of celery cut in half, and a whole onion. But to make our roast tender, before we put it in the crock pot, we're going to sear it. I'm going to add a little bit of sunflower oil. Now that our frying pan is good and hot, we're going to sear our roast. We're going to take our roast to the side of the pan because the sides of the cast iron pan gets hot too. And we're just going to sear the edges of the meat. Now it's ready for the crock pot. Let's turn off the heat. And we will transfer this beautiful roast right into our crock pot, which is already on high. Now all we're going to do is we're going to cut our potatoes in half. And we're going to cut our carrots in half and drop those in. And we're going to take our celery and our onion and set it right on top of the roast. Then we add a half to three quarters of a cup of water. Put the lid on and let it cook for about three hours. That is going to be beautiful. We'll see you guys at the dinner table. Alrighty, here is our lovely roast beef crock pot dinner. We're going to take our roast out, and set it on the plate. Let's surround our lovely roast with all these wonderful vegetables. Now let's make some gravy. Let's take our lovely broth and pour it into a saucepan and turn the heat on high. In a mason jar, Take about two tablespoons of flour and a bit of cold water, put the lid on and shake it up. It's already starting to bubble. So let's pour our flour mixture in there and start whisking. Now where's Papa? I wanted him to reach the gravy boat down. Well, I can't reach the gravy boat, so we'll just have to put it in a bowl for now. Sorry folks, this is reality. Nothing happens perfectly around here. And there is our wonderful tub of gravy. Let's make Papa a plate and dish it up. I mashed your potatoes for you and put a little bit of butter on them because I know you like even roast potatoes mashed. This is all done in the crock pot except for the gravy. I'm going to give it a taste test and then you can go and sit at your TV table. All right, we'll leave Daddy be. This is the Mrs. Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead saying, you don't have to heat up the whole house with the oven to make a roast beef dinner fit for Sunday. Just do it in the crock pot.